Welcome to the MAN3000 training material, setting up the MAN3000 desktop with the Yaystar S series. We shall start by downloading the MAN3000 from our website and installing it as per normal. Start your MAN3000 up, and as normal, you would need to configure your XY first. Say yes to the dialog that comes up. If you get an error, just say OK and continue as you normally would. Fill in the correct phone number for the site that you are installing the MAN3000 at. Once done, click Build Codebook and say yes. Confirm the location. If you need to install another codebook, click yes to the next dialog, otherwise click no and continue. Now that your XY is configured, you can set up the rest of MAN3000. First fill in your TIS password, go to settings and format 1. At this point we're going to click the import button and search for the PABX format soft and then look for the mypbx underscore u underscore s mysql. You'll note that there are two of these, as we will be doing in Format 1, and again in Format 2 with the second one. This covers your formats. You will then go to Settings, Comport Settings. Under the PC Connection, select your Soft Online Authentication or Dongle as required. Go to Advanced Settings and select number 23. You will then need to navigate to CSV to fix field formats. You will then select the MyPBX underscore SQL. Be sure to check Save All Telephone Calls to Tell them Error File. Now navigate to PBX Connection, select External Collection Up, and just select MAN3000 DB2 file once again and hit Save to ensure it saves the configuration. And then close the settings and click on the new dialog that is open in the background. This is where we set up the DB to file. Select My PBX. You will then fill in the database IP. The port number is always 3306. Database name and table name are CDR. Username and password will be MAN3000. Check the must use S series names and display name will make collect. Save this configuration. You will now configure your Yay star. Log in and go to settings. Go to security and select database grant. At this point, we will add the database grant that we created in MAN3000 username and password that we went to before. Ensure that your permitted IP is the IP address of the machine that is hosting the MAN3000. If the system is using DHCP, you can put a percentage here to allow the range. You can then close and log out of your PABX. At this point we will then continue with the registration. The reason we left this to the last moment is that as soon as it is registered it will start collecting data. This way we ensure that any data collected will be added to the main 3000 successfully. As you normally would, fill in all your end user details, the support company details and hit save. Once this is done you will have to click the process registration. If it is not there, type in your MAN3000 password again and go back to process registration and continue as you normally would. Remember that you will need to be a registered dealer with us to continue with this process. Congratulations, at this point you would have successfully configured the MAN2000 desktop with the Yaystar S series. If you require any assistance with this process, feel free to contact us on our support line. You will need to quote the code that you saw on the screen earlier. MAN3000. It works.